Hey everyone, today we're talking about one of my favorite subjects, sunscreen. Specifically, we're reviewing the Say Sun Visor Broad Spectrum SPF 35 Sheer Moisturizer. So, I was really intrigued by this. Say says on the website, it's your serum, oil, moisturizer, and sunscreen all in one product. I love a multitasker because I'm lazy as hell, so I thought this would be great to review. Say on the website says that if you have oily skin, you'll probably want to skip this because this does have a lot of oil in it. Uh, so just keep that in mind. But for me, since I moved to the Bay Area about nine months ago, for whatever reason, my skin is like dry as a bone. So I thought this would be really perfect for me. Normally I would reach for all of my matte sunscreens, but now I need all the dew I can get. Before we get into the actual demo and review of the product, I wanted to mention that I used to be on Say's PR list. I have a dedicated review of their slip tint or maybe it's called the slip cover. It's their tinted moisturizer. Um, but when this launched, there was a little bit of an issue I had with their marketing campaign and the way that they showed the product applied on the models with dark skin. Um, I had, you know, publicly posted on my stories about it very politely. And I commented on their post. I was super respectful. Um, and they were going to send me the sunscreen, but because I spoke out about the, um, the sort of general like ickiness about the marketing campaign as it relates to being inclusive. They removed me from their PR list. It's fine. It is what it is. Um, but I am certainly disappointed that say really just wants to work with creators who are going to give them glowing positive reviews all the time. It's a bummer that they don't value constructive feedback, even when it's very polite and respectful. So, I'm gonna first just talk objectively about the product and the texture itself, and then we'll get into my thoughts on brands in general that market sheer zinc formulas, um, because I think it's a really important subject. So first let's go over the info on the website. Um, this product is 1.35 ounces, pretty typical for sunscreens, although I do prefer a little bit more. Um, it's $34 and it's described as Shield and moisturize with an SPF that's equal parts clean, dewy, and silky. The super hydrating zinc oxide sunscreen is sheer and absorbs easily into skin for a complexion that feels amazing while fighting off harmful UV rays all at once. Okay. It is 15% zinc oxide. It's got water. It's got grapeseed oil, jojoba oil. It has beeswax, glycerin. It's got, I think, probiotics. Mica, bisabolol, which I think is a soothing ingredient if I'm not mistaken, but I don't really know shit. Um, it's got hyaluronic acid and it has aloe for soothing and some iron oxides at the end. So now that we know the claims and everything, let's get into it. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It comes in this pump. Um, initially off the bat, I don't like this pump mechanism. You have to apply a fuck ton of sunscreen in reality to get good coverage and you have to apply my friend Michaela actually measured it out at least four to five pumps to get a quarter teaspoon, which really isn't even as much as you'd want for your neck. That's just for your face. So I'm going to apply it and you can see the color is a great match for my skin, but I actually just finished washing, <laughs> finished washing. I just finished, finished watching Hannah Louise Poston's video on the sunscreen and She's much more pale than I am, and um, it comes out very dark on her. She is able to shear it out, but I think just keep in mind, if you have extremely fair skin, um, it might even be a little bit dark on you right off the bat. I think you can see just how dewy it is. So if you have oily skin, probably want to skip this one, but I really, really love it. You know, like I said, I'm really struggling with how dry my skin has been. And, you know, throughout the day, the more I go about my day, the drier my skin gets. No issues with pilling. Um, I will say in Hannah Louise Poston's video, she said that no matter what she did, um, the sunscreen pilled all over her to the point where she just had to like take it off. Um, I've never experienced that issue. No pilling here. To me, this feels incredibly lightweight. It definitely does feel like that texture they mentioned, that sort of oil, moisturizer, serum, sunscreen hybrid. I would say that's marketed accurately. 
but we'll discuss the term sheer a little later on. Okay, so I can see on camera in my screen, I look wet, <laughs> like it looks so wet. Um, but in person, in my mirror, it actually does not look quite as dewy and quite as reflective. It does have mica in it, so it's adding a little bit of that reflective quality, I think. And to me, I think it looks great, totally sheared out, didn't pill, feels lightweight, definitely has a little bit of that like oil, serum, moisturizer consistency. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then we can come back and see how it looks underneath makeup. Okay, I've done all my makeup and I'm back and I think everything looks really nice. Uh, I added a little bit of powder in my T-zone because I did go on top of the sun visor with the say slip cover, which is very, very dewy. Um, I can't even really use the slip cover in the summertime because it's just so oily. And anytime it's like hot and humid, my skin just gets a little bit more oily naturally. But in the wintertime right now, the sun visor plus the slip tint has been a godsend for me. And just looking in the mirror right now, I really do think that my skin looks quite nice. I have to say, in wearing this for two weeks straight now, I think that this is a beautiful, beautiful product. If you have light to medium tan skin, if you have extremely fair skin, the tint may be too dark. And if you have dark skin, this is going to leave a white cast. So on that note, let's talk about it. So before the sunscreen launched, before anyone had tried it, um, I saw the Instagram post by Say and I was so stoked because I've been wanting a super hydrating, sheer, you know, mineral sunscreen for such a long time. And everyone that they applied this on just looked so beautiful. In the campaigns, all the models like use this pea size amount and they just go like, Swoosh. They just like swipe it on like while they're at the tennis court and you know everything looks really beautiful really sort of like stylized etc um but then they started doing the same thing on models with dark skin and i think everyone started realizing like oh you're not though using a proper amount just like a little swipe is not going to cut it so i commented on their instagram post of a model with dark skin going doing a pea size amount and then going like that and I said, hey, say, like, that's not the amount of sunscreen that anyone would ever apply to get full coverage and proper protection. Can we please see a campaign um, or a post with a model with dark skin using the proper amount? And there were some issues also with the way that Say was communicating in one of their um, posts. They said to use like one to two pumps of sunscreen. So that was my first initial issue is they were just like, you know, do a couple pumps. That was just a little bit weird. And then Say had said that they were gonna send me this sunscreen in PR because I had that comment and posted it on my stories. I never got it. So they obviously removed me from PR, which again is fine, but it's a bummer that they don't value working with influencers who give honest, constructive feedback. Um, that was pretty disappointing. And then the other problem was they did eventually, after so many people asked them to, they uh, showed a couple with dark skin applying the sunscreen using the proper amount. And you could very clearly see that they looked so gray. They just looked so bad. Um, and say posted that video or like, see, it's sheer. And it's just really disappointing. Like, just be fucking honest with consumers. Just be honest with us. And here's the argument about inclusivity in mineral sunscreen. So some people like me can only use mineral sunscreens for whatever reason, chemi chemical sunscreens cause me to have like a really bad reaction, a lot of sensitivity, stinging, burning, and oftentimes it makes my melasma even worse. I don't know why. Some people can only use chemical sunscreens, especially because chemical sunscreens are more inclusive. They're very easy to be sheer because zinc um, is the component in mineral sunscreens that adds that white cast. But again, some people like me can only use mineral sunscreens if you have sensitive skin. And you know, the higher the zinc concentration, the harder it is to have a sheer formula. I just don't appreciate the marketing that all these companies do, not just say, this is not just about say, this is about all sunscreen companies in general when they say sheer or invisible. The new Dr. Dennis Gross sunscreen coming out, the new Super Goop sheer mineral sunscreen, both of which I will be reviewing for you soon. Um, they all say sheer, and I think even uh, Dr. Dennis Gross may have been the one that said invisible. Uh, 
And I just don't believe that. When you see the proper amount applied on someone with dark skin, you can see it's not sheer on them. There are some sunscreens where they are sheer on all skin tones. I think Kinship, the Self Reflect, which is one of my favorites, um, I've seen that applied on very dark skin and after a few minutes applied in a couple layers, it looks beautiful. I've also seen that with the Coats um, Flawless Complexion Sunscreen. So it is possible to make a high zinc sunscreen that is sheer on all skin tones which is why I just don't appreciate the marketing that these companies have. I mean, just say, you know, sheer on light to medium skin tones or may not be sheer on all people, you know? It just feels like a slap in the face when you're not even including people with dark skin tones in your demographic because of your marketing. You know what I mean? Like saying that something's sheer when it's only sheer on light to medium skin tones is basically just completely rooted in white supremacy and racism and the continuation of like Eurocentric standards in beauty. And it's just, come on, like we gotta do better, right? Of course, the ideal scenario would be for a high zinc mineral sunscreen to be invisible on all skin tones. But if these brands aren't able to provide that, then they have to say so. And I don't feel that it is transparent uh, to be saying that a product is sheer when it is not in fact sheer on all people when applied correctly. So that's my rant, that's my spiel. Um, while I absolutely adore this product and I think it's amazing for you know normal to dry skin with light to medium or even you know slightly darker than that skin tones, I just, really have an issue with the way that Say went about the feedback from consumers and the way that they went about their marketing for it. Almost every brand I can think of that has a mineral sunscreen has done this as well. Pipette is another one where they showed an entire black family applying their sunscreen, said it was sheer and invisible, and they were only applying like the smallest amount. I just, you know, I just want brands to do better. I think consumers deserve better. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video and it wasn't too rambly or ranty, but um, I just felt like it was something important to discuss. So if you have any feedback on, you know, inclusivity as it relates to mineral sunscreens and brand campaigns, definitely let me know. I would love to hear everybody's thoughts. Yeah, let's continue the conversation. So let me know if you've tried this product and what you think of it. I would love to hear your feedback and I'll see you next time.